I wonder what's in here. Sounds interesting. Watch the video and see what it is. Hi guys, it's Cats from K Cats Arts. Thank you for tuning in. Hello to all my current subscribers and my new subscribers. If you haven't followed me yet, please hit the subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so that you can see future videos when they do come up. So today's video is super special, like all my other ones, but this one in particular. It's another sponsorship. Now this sponsorship is a little bit different. It's not the actual company of stuff that's in here. It's actually from a coworker and she has a Facebook page called NJ Yarn Art. I hope I said that right. I will put the information here. Be warned, there is graphic pictures on here in terms of she does crochet and knitting and all that kind of stuff and she will make anything you want. So you might see some, uh, how can I say this nicely, uh, human parts uh, that as parents you may not want your kids. So be warned, I will try to get the proper information here that doesn't show that part. But anyways, so thank you Nikki. If you haven't seen her artwork, sorry, her I call it artwork because it is artwork. She does yarn art and it's amazing. Go check it out. She makes this cutest ever dinosaur and this avocado. I'm in love with that avocado because, you know, I'm vegan and I want that avocado. Avocado, Okay, Nikki? But anyways, she sent me this. Listen to it. So interesting. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if I'll get this in the shop properly. I hope I did. Basically, it's just random stuff. And the random stuff in here are super important because I was talking to her over lunch one day. And I said, oh, I've seen the video that you were talking about doing Dragon Eyes because she uses little characters for her, her creations. So, or little eyes, I mean, for her creations. So she's like, I have glass chat cabochons. I hope I'm saying that right. So basically they're just, I'm checking on the camera here, they're just like glass oval shape circles, kind of like that. And I'm going to try to do the dragon eyes or just eyes in general because you guys know in my previous videos I always told you I love doing eyes. So I'm going to try this out. I'm just putting it on a white piece of paper just so you guys can kind of see that. So along with these, she just gave me a few because she's planning to order some more stuff. And hopefully I'll get to work with her on that project as well. So she sent me some glitters in this bin. Sorry, I've just set it off to the side. But I don't know if I'm going to use the glitter paint because I don't know if it will work for the purposes that I'm trying to do. But what's inside is the interesting part. Yep, that's right guys. I'm going to be doing some art with nail polish and she has different colors and as I was going through her bin she has like super bright colors she just purchased these from the dollar store because you don't need super expensive ones only if you want to get it like look at this yellow wow and then this um so yeah there's different colors in here so while I was going through her bin I noticed that she did not have um I'm gonna put this, I'll put this over here she did not have black. So I thought, I'm gonna go to the store and get black, which I did. I got this Sally, Sally, I was gonna say Jensen. <laughs> Sally Hansen, just extreme wear. Um, and it's called Blackout, so I figured that would be a good centerpiece. So I hope you guys can see this without, I know there's shadows, but sorry. So I went for this. But this is what ended up happening. Yep. Oh, there's more. Let me turn this camera a little bit. My camera stand broke this morning. So that's why it's kind of funky camera. So I hopefully my camera doesn't fall off. Oh yes, more colors. So I got all sort of different ranges because... You guys know I love my greens, which is this one here. I love that color. Um, 
There's more. Thank goodness I hit up the dollar store. And some of these were two for one, so worked out great. But generally they're a dollar a piece. And I just hit up Dollarama and um, Dollar Tree in my local area here in Canada. And for you guys, I think it's cheaper because, yeah. So I went for a lot. And then I ended up with this. And then I ended up with her stuff. So with all this stuff, I'm going to pick out some colors and then we're going to create something. So this is the color family I ended up doing. Oh yes, I forgot to add my black there. So I'm going to do kind of the red and orange and greens because I want like a creepy dragon eye for some reason. So yeah, I'm going to give these a try. Like I said, I do not know how this is going to turn out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so then I got some tools. If you guys don't know, I used to be a baker before and then I did some crafts like in terms of polymer clay. So then I have these like scratching tools. That's what I'm going to call them. But yeah, little piercing tools that look like this, dotting tools. Or you can even use your toothpick. Um, just make sure you have a napkin nearby. Which of course I don't. <laughs> I just remembered now. Yeah, so I'm going to try this out. And I'm super nervous and excited because I don't know guys this shape or should I go with circle because I wish the circle was a little bit bigger so that I could get more detail and I don't know if I should do it long ways like this or like this I'm kind of leaning more forward to this but when I've watched videos on here on YouTube They've done it in a circle shape, so let me get a better one there. I don't know. Maybe I'll try one of each. Who knows? Maybe I will end up doing one of each. Now, this is a great reference offhand. I know this is off topic, but this here is a great reference to if you wanted to try to draw, like, you know, a water droplet. Mm, that might be a future video. <laughs> Okay, so basically all your work is on the back side. So you want to make sure you do it in layers um, that you're doing from like the centerpiece and then working your way out. So, okay, let's start with black. Okay, guys, I'm so nervous about this because Yvonne Williams, I believe that's her name here on YouTube, makes this look so, so easy. And... Yeah, I don't know if it's so, so easy. Okay, I don't know if I have a lot there. I feel like I do, but I probably don't. Oh, I did it the wrong way. That's okay. I will stretch it out somehow. Um, okay, so I hope that's on camera there. So then you kind of stretch it out and you kind of do feathering. Yvonne, if you're watching this video, don't laugh. Or you can. It's up to you. Now, if you make a mistake, I would say get some acetone, you know, like nail polish remover, and take it out. But I'm pretty happy with this so far. You want to taper the ends. I'm probably doing it way too big because I want to work on a big surface. So that's what the center eyeball is going to look like when you flip it over. So always flip it over, check out your work. Looks really cool, actually. Okay. And just make sure if you have some gaps to fill that in because you don't want it to be like opaque because after you put on the top, layer and again I forgot the paper towel mm. okay I'm just gonna use my paper here because I'm gonna go with it now we get the black and she puts on tons and I'm super scared because 
I'm not a nail polish girl at all. I'll wear it if I have like a special event. So yeah, then she brushes like this. And I took off a lot of the inks because I was scared. So she brushes the edge much better than I am. I don't think she goes in that far, but you know, this is my first time. Don't laugh or laugh, whatever you want to do. So in the meantime, that centerpiece might dry. Just be careful. So kind of like that. You guys see it? So it kind of shows through. It's really neat. So I'm going to grab some more because I think I need a thicker coat. And then, yep, I needed a thicker coat. So you go all the way around. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's morning time here. Uh, the sun is just rising now. It is 7 o'clock. Or it's been rising, but it hasn't hit my window yet slowly. So if you see like a bright light, so you can already see I have, uh, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about. Those, um, you know, from blinds. <laughs> so, yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to speed up the video in some parts. I might. So if my talking doesn't make sense <laughs> throughout the video, I apologize. So that area, there's a lot there, but that's okay. So that's what it's looking like so far. So you make an outer trim. So that was the area that I got too much on. But that's okay because now you get your scratching tool. And I know it seems weird, but you scratch it out. And I'm putting a little bit of pressure, but not too much pressure that I'm scratching the glass, or at least I don't think I am. Let me get that closer to you. Again, I know this lighting is horrible. Maybe I'll have to do another video of this. But yeah, I'm basically scratching and taking off. And you will end up with nail polish on the end of your tip. And if it freckles onto, like, and leaves particles onto the actual um, glass in, like, the middle or whatever, just leave it because eyes have natural flecking in different areas. Yes, I said flecking. Okay, so it does that kind of effect. Hope you can see that. See how it like scratches it up. It looks super cool. I like it. This way. Okay. So now I'm gonna Yep, I just did that. I just spilled black nail polish. So that's why you protect your surface. Ow. I don't like doing that. Oh, I'm such a goofball. So I did spell the black nail polish. But anyways, continuing on. Every color that I added, I added the layer and then I scraped it off, adding those little streaks like I showed originally in the beginning in the slower clip. And what that does is creates little speckling so that you can see what's happening in the eye. And then when you add metallic paints into it, it actually glows and it gives a shimmer and I will show um, my process in between of every single eye. I know it's fast forward and I'm sorry about the, the angling, the angles I have here as well as the lighting. It wasn't the best. I promise I will do another one but in the meantime hit the notification bell, subscribe to me, follow me on Instagram at kcatsart so you can see other videos and if you want to see another um, color or view or technique to this most definitely leave it in the comments like I said so yeah so this is the red and orange and yellow eye I know I said green originally but it's the red orange and yellow eye and it turned out so super cute for my first try I'm so excited about it I know that you're not seeing it necessarily when I flip it over I did have it at the other screen but I decided to cut out that footage because it was just a little bit too long of a video if I did have everything in here but I promise at the end I will show you how it looks like 
and the flecking that you get to see in it it's amazing this is the most therapeutical piece of art that I've done in a long time I really enjoyed scratching it with the different tools um, each one of those tools have a different thickness um, so yeah it's really neat and then the final layer that you put on the back you add it on as thick as possible so that there is no light shining through unless that's that's what you're looking for but that's not what I was looking for I just wanted those gold flakes to come right in so I just set it aside and I got busy to my next one I decided to do a round eye and I decided to do this one in blue colors again starting off with that centerpiece and feathering it out as best as I could now unfortunately because of the size of the eye I wasn't able to get as much of the veining and detail that I wanted to see because it was such a small little piece but hopefully in the future I'll be able to get like a really super big one because you can get almost like three inch ones even five inch ones and it turns out amazing in this particular piece I did add a cobalt blue in metallic and it is amazing like guys go out and do this this is so so much fun so thank you Nikki for sponsoring this video I really had a great time I hope you like the video I hope it shows somewhat of the technique again it's just scratching and that's pretty much it you want to avoid the center when you are scratching so that you're not scratching through that pupil area and when you're done add a top coat on that now thoroughly let this dry for at least 24 hours before flipping it over or doing anything to it because you'll mess it up like I have before on other pieces because I had a green one and another purple one and I flipped it over on the paper way too soon and it came off. But anyways, I have the three finished pieces in this video. I have only shown you two in terms of the oval and the round and um yeah that's pretty much it just continue to watch the to the end of the video and you will see uh the final piece again when you are when it's thoroughly dry make sure to let it dry for another day because you want to add resin or felt or something like that on the back so that you're not scratching off all that hard work you did because it's like nail polish like when you color your nails it will chip off and you do not want that to happen this particular piece I believe had about eight layers of nail polish and surprisingly none of it blended together like in terms of like um, cross-contamination of colors it just worked out so yeah watch till then and you'll see how they turned out thanks guys guys I hope you liked the video I had such a great time creating these look how they turned out they are vibrant and bright and depending on how you put it up to the sunlight they do kind of shine through um, but I did put on a thick layer in order to avoid that shininess coming through the but the, it didn't break which is a good thing um, but that is a technique if you want a glowing eyes you can do that and then put LEDs behind it and that's what the backs look like um, get that closer so it's kind of rough looking so if you want to finish it off with felt or finish it off with like uh, resin on it so that you don't scratch this because this was so much work so I'm gonna try to get this light to shine up brighter here I don't know if you guys can see that do you see the gold whoop, do you see the gold flaking in it and that's from all the scratches and all the different layers it looks amazing this is such a creepy reptile snake dragon eye you could do cat eye depending on your color choices I did have a green one and it was like a cat's eye and it was beautiful and then I ruined it <laughs> This one's my favorite because of how I use the copper color in there for the flaking. Look at that. It's so amazing. Like, 
and it shines so well and it looks natural it's not like you guys can make your own and use it on your own pieces instead of buying these on Etsy's but you can buy it on Etsy's if you want to buy it from me you definitely can you get a piece of art from me but make it yourself try it out if you do make this send me a picture because I would love to see it hashtag me at hashtag kcatsarts I would love to see it or tag me on my Instagram at kcatsart look how beautiful do you see the flaking, like the, f the flecking, I think that's the word, um, and the veining when you do the scratching? It's so worth it. So thank you, thank you so much, Nikki, for sponsoring this video, giving me some of your nail polish to test this out. I wish it could hold all three somehow. Don't laugh. Oop, I almost dropped it again. So yeah, so there's all three. They're beautiful, shiny, brilliant, so much fun to create, and every eye will always be different because it's unique and so much fun. So go out and try this. If you haven't followed me here on, on YouTube, please hit that notification bell and subscribe. Thank you to all my followers. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. And... Look out for the next video. There might be some exciting things. I'm going to try to do this technique in the, with the Pintar um, acrylic paint markers. I don't necessarily know if it will work, but it's worth trying. Um, but yeah, have fun, guys. And again, when you are scratching, you can scratch right through the wet layers. You don't need to let it dry. Just let it dry thoroughly before turning it over and cleaning it up if you need to clean up everything anything and then finish your back and that's pretty much it allow at least 24 hours of proper drying time between applying the enamel and then applying your resin or however you're finishing it like if you're putting on e6000 uh, e on the back and a piece of felt would kind of work well and they'll protect it so yeah thanks again mickey i'll see you at work and i hope you like this video and again shut this up <clears throat> Show her some love by following her on Facebook at NJ Yarn Arts. Thanks, guys. Bye.